This Android 16 ROM is a bit different, you can say. This is having amazing options, very useful things, and I'm talking about Voltage OS based on Android 16. The version is Voltage OS 5.0, although I have tried the GSI also on my previous video I have shown you, but this one is a custom ROM, not a GSI. So yes, it is unofficially available for many devices. We will provide you the link for some of the devices if it is available. The quick settings panel as expectedly is one of the main highlights and if you are able to notice, the quick settings panel have all the editing options. You can rearrange the tiles, you can edit them, you can replace them anywhere and so on. Although this is not a typical Android 16 style quick settings panel available in many custom rooms, it's kind of a little bit different, a little bit tweaked version which is not looking that bad. Also, the notification panel, I mean these notification UI seems to be a different one. If you move on to the default launcher, it is not having any major customizations although so far, uh, but it is not having the pixel launcher actually. Why so? Because uh, one thing which I found in this case is the recent panel if you are able to notice. The new recent panel which is inspired from the QPR update. This seems to be quite exciting on the new animations. And yes, this recent panel seems to be one of the main highlights of using this one. If you move on to settings UI, you will notice the settings UI has all the colorful icons available. This is inspired from the latest Android 16. Latest Android 16 beta version have these kind of icons. If you take a look at some customizations, things are basically same, but many features are missing as expectedly. Only few of the features available here and there. One thing which I found in the volume panel is we have this expanded rows volume panel, but we do not have anything like the Android 15 style expanded volume panel or not even Android 16 style. This is the only thing which you have in this case. If you are looking forward to Google Play Store, one thing which is available in Voltage OS is like Graphene OS support, which Graphene OS supports sandboxed Google Play environment. That thing is supported with Voltage OS also. So you can install Graphene OS App Store APK and then you'll be able to install Google Play Store, Google Play services from there and all those things will be installed as system. And that is a different thing. As you can see, this is sandbox Google Play. So the Google Play services will run in a separate sandbox environment so no background battery drain and so on so that's a very good thing it also brings you this firewall app pre-installed which lets you cut the data cut the network connectivity from some of the particular apps in case you want to for example if you don't want internet access for any single app individual app you can turn off the internet access for that particular android app which seems to be quite exciting one and if you move on to some cloned apps features yes it is available so you can clone apps in case you want to it's a different thing as compared to parallel space but the reality is it's good it's working fine so you can use it in the latest android version if i found in wallpapers and style section that it is not having the new wallpapers and style ui which is available with the latest android 16 qpr update which is okay. I mean, if you are able to notice these wallpapers, there are some wallpapers included. Some of these wallpapers are so good. And if you want to apply any one of these wallpapers, the UI, the preview UI seems to be the similar one which you are getting with Android 15. No changes available in this case, but it's still okay, I guess. These are the things available in this case, but if you take a look at some of the customizations, some of the features present in this case, as usual, if you move on to some status bar options like battery customizations are there, we have the option for clock and date options and minor tweaks here and there. And also if you move on to theming options, we have the custom on it theming options, although pre-installed themes are not present, like the usual ones which you get in some of the custom rooms, not the part of this one, at least for now with Android 16. Of course, this is unofficial version. As far as I know, it is available unofficially for many devices only so far right now while making this video. Lock screen, few of the tweaks available here and there. Even if you move on to some pulse options, if you use this option, this might be a very interesting thing. If you love to play music on a devices, this gives you the graphic equalizer there, which looks kind of really exciting. Buttons does not have anything unique in this case. Power menu have minor tweaks available. So you can enable screenshot option in the power menu in case you want to and background blur is already enabled. And yes, it is having the latest expressive UI too. Play integrity fix. We will not talk about play integrity fix because this is unofficial version. So things might be changed in your case. If play integrity fix is not fixed by default, 
you can install some modules i recently made a video on strong integrity fix so you can check out that video this is the latest one and that is a previous video from now on check that out this is it thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one take care